Assignment 10 Overview Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with assignment number 10 for our CSIT 134 PowerPoint class. After you log in to Blackboard, click the Assignments link on the left, and on the Assignments page, you're going to look for this new link, Assignment 10, Sharing a Presentation. Please note that Assignment 10 is due by May, t May 8th, 2017. Click into Assignment 10. And please take note of this special sentence here at the top. Assignment 10 focuses on Chapter 7 in your textbook and the two additional theory chapters that are posted in Blackboard. Those theory chapters are located here in this link. When you click that link to go to the Theory Chapters page, it explains a little bit about why we have these two Theory Chapters in here. And to read both of those chapters, you need to click individually each link. The first one is called the Delivery, and the second one is called how you can use different kinds of media, using media. When you click into one of these links, a PDF file will appear and it will start out with a big photograph and then you can just scroll through and go in and read these chapters. These chapters are taken from a different book outside of your textbook. They are additional information you need to have for this class. When you're done reading the theory chapters, you might want to print them out or at least keep them handy. You can certainly download them and save them on your computer if you want. Go back to Assignment 10, and here you can read everything that's included in this assignment. This is a bulleted list here of all of the things you're going to learn about in Assignment 10. Here is a summary of what you will be doing for Assignment 10. You're going to read Chapter 7 in your textbook, or you can read the chapter in the SimNet chapters online, and, of course, read both of the theory chapters. Okay, and then uh, there's an important note here. While you're reading Chapter 7 in the textbook, you should try to do the pause and practice exercises throughout the chapter, as we always do. But whenever a step tells you to create or work with a group in SkyDrive or OneDrive, skip that. There are no more groups there, and you cannot create one. So I'm not expecting you to use SkyDrive at all in this chapter. You're then going to complete a customized project using PowerPoint 2013 software. This is not a SimNet project. Then you're going to go into uh, Blackboard in the last discussion forum that we have and post your answers to the questions there. And we have our last chapter quiz based on Chapter 7 reading. The assignment for uh, the project, uh, rather, for Assignment 10 is located here. Right here, where it says click here to open the project instructions, you're going to open the instructions and be sure to save your project with this name, A10 Custom Project. When you're ready to start the project, click right here to open the project instructions. You can print these out if you want to. This will tell you what you're supposed to do Okay, those are all the instructions. If you have any questions about what to do or how to do these, these steps, just let me know. Please email me soon. Um, we also have, uh, I also have a video I created here for you that discusses OneDrive and Microsoft Office web apps. So please be sure to watch the video. And then here's a reminder for the last discussion and don't forget about the chapter quiz as well. Down here at the bottom is the link to turn in your uh, Assignment 10 project right here. Remember, this is not a SimNet project. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, please email me as early as you can to give both me and you enough time to get the feedback to you that you need so that you can get this done in time.